Watch, watch. Huh? Huh? Well, the fire. We'll, we'll get simulcast TVs next year, I promise. Okay, here we go. So on three. Water on the grease fire. One, two, three. Whoa! And there goes our pretty granite countertops and our cabinetry. And now we just took a bad situation and made it that much worse. So, what we can do at home. A couple of different ways we can attack this. One. How many of us have these things in our refrigerators? Yeah. Okay. You ever have these? You put them in the refrigerators, the things that smell bad. It's baking soda. Common household baking soda. You may need more than one, but common household baking soda. We're gonna, we're gonna see how that how this works. Okay. We're we're not gonna put it out all the way, but we're gonna show you how how it actually will help kind of tame that fire. And that wasn't even half a box. You can see just by a little bit of baking soda. Baking soda is actually one of the ingredients that they sometimes use in inside fire extinguishers. So having a couple of boxes of these around definitely, definitely, definitely help. So I'm gonna coax it back up a little bit. So method number two. Method number two. Can you guys get a little bit of standby cocktail? On it. All right, so the next method, if you have it near the, near the stove, so if we're cooking the chicken cutlets and the, and the grease fire gets out of hand, hopefully at least you're keeping on the side of your countertop. Hopefully you're keeping on the side of your countertop uh, a lid that's meant for the pot because one thing that fire does need is a little bit of oxygen. That's what helps it breathe, that's what helps it get bigger, and that's why earlier in the day when we spoke about the, uh, oh. when we spoke about the, oh oh, wow. oh. Alright, there we go. <laughs> it's harmless, harmless. Alright. You guys are in the splash zone, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try this again. Have a little bit of more. This time somebody can still get it. Yeah, just a little bit more. We're gonna need so we're going to try this now with the lid. We're going to see how fast the lid works. We see how great the baking soda works. Let's try this with, uh, with the lid. Uh, it's not fitting to it. Oh, there you go. That may do it. No? Uh, we can maybe have to do some movie magic here, but uh, if you have a lid and it fits right, I, it will put it out. Eventually, the oxygen will stop. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. So nothing but smoke left. Good job, Lieutenant Goldberg. Nothing but smoke left. All right, so the last thing we're going to do. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do, just so we can see, so everybody can see how it works, if we do have them in our kitchen, we do have them in our kitchen. We should know how it gets used. So first thing I'm gonna just kind of point out on the fire extinguisher here, is there's a gauge right in the front. It's colors green and colors red. Like most things, red is usually bad, green is usually good. And if yours is in the red, it's time to change it out. They don't cost much. 25 bucks, go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's, go somewhere, one of those type of places, Ace Hardware, and you can get a new one. But you should check it if you haven't checked it in a while. I like leaving uh, the note above my fire extinguisher to check my smoke detectors. It's kind of a reminder. So my every six months when I go to check my smoke detectors, I also take a look at the uh, gauge on the fire extinguisher. So, there's a safety pin. Just on the side, you see it here. It gets pulled out. There's a handle. There's a button up top. And what we always do when we're approaching any fire is you're gonna you're gonna shoot the fire extinguisher at the face of the fire to the lowest point. Never shoot it up high. It's best usually to get the source, which is usually at the lowest point where that fire starts. So we're gonna see what this looks like.
Alright, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Excellent, that works. <laughs> so you can see how well the gear works uh, when it's on fire. So, he's going to do it a little bit slow just so we can see how it goes. There you go. So he's going to pull the safety pin and it's out. And now he has his hand on the trigger and on the base and he's going to aim at the base of the fire. And here we go. Just like that, it goes out. Fantastic job. Fantastic job.